dumbass today. Ha <laughs> ha, awful. You looked in a mirror? Someday you will have to answer for your actions and God may not be so merciful. Ha <laughs> ha. My parents didn't raise me to order something expensive when someone else is paying. Reblog if you're too scared to drink anything but water when someone takes you out to eat. Does it bother anyone else that there are parts of your life you don't remember? You've done and said things that you don't even know about anymore. That means you don't even have the right perception of yourself because you don't even fully know who you are. However, something that you've forgotten about could be a prominent memory in somebody else's mind. It trips me out. I really wish you hadn't said that. My mom is a friend who has a failed program service dog, and he's literally my favorite creature. He's a really smart lab. He learned all the commands, but he just has an affinity for doing them whenever he wants. So this lady's dog literally turns on and off lights, opens doors, opens the fridge, etc. at his own wishes. Her house looks like it's baby proof with kid safe locks on everything and stuff. But she really just has a dog that's learned the mobility service dog commands, but has a mind of its own. Aw, he's a chaotic good boy. The lady at Target couldn't scan my item and just looked at me and said, Just take it, I hate this friendly place. <laughs> that the other day in Coles. Dude, the cashier at Whole Foods gave me free cake because he couldn't scan it and said, whatever, it's yours. It was one of the best moments of my life. How introverts make friends. A, online. B, an extrovert found them, liked them, and adopted them. It's true. If you want to be my lover, you got to tell me really explicitly because I can't tell when people are actually flirting with me. That's a fact. In 2018, we started pressing people who like their hot chocolate with water. If you're lactose intolerant, you can stay, but you're on... Fantastic! Thin ice. I eat powder straight from the pack. Hey, do you know how horrible what you just said was? Things to do after finishing a TV show. Rewatch the pilot. It's always enlightening to see where and how characters started off when you know how they end up. Rewatch the second episode. Surely you missed something the first time around. Watch the whole first season. School doesn't start for a week anyway. Rewatch the whole thing, you piece of sweetness. Rewatch it all. Okay, so there's a game me and my friends play called Don't Get Me Started. And basically, someone gives another person a random topic and they have to go on an angry rant about it. And it's the best thing that's ever happened to us at parties and car rides. So I highly recommend playing it sometimes with your friends. Don't get me started. Did you draw that? They ask as I continue on the same piece of artwork under my pencil. And immediately my eyes widen in horror as I throw the sketchbook to the ground screaming, No, I didn't! Where did that come from? What is this witchcraft? There was like a panic every 20 to 30 years in the 19th century. Get your stuff together. I have a panic attack every 20 to 30 minutes, so no judgment. If people are really going to assume that guys with long hair are gay and girls with short hair are lesbians, then I'm going to assume that all bald men are actually eagles. I knew it. Something about my dad just wasn't adding up. Hey, yo, I may be a failure, but at least I am not the Emoji Movie 2017. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Welcome to Australia, where a fast food restaurant literally made a mirror reflective seagull proof packet for their fries so they don't goddamn try to fly down and steal your fries. You think I'm joking? Light fright. This is the best thing I've ever seen. The QA on Hungry Jack's website makes this even better. What if I encounter a particularly brave seagull? Run. This is a model of how many Earths can fit inside the sun. Damn, that's gotta be at least 12. Well, you're not wrong. Can someone just explain French to me? It's Spanish, but you speak it in cursive. You have 11 letters, you pronounce four of them. Learn to speak Spanish. Now learn to speak Italian. Now subtract the Spanish from Italian. You are left with French. Latin, but then you make it fashion. One day, you lose your wallet, and it is found by a mob boss who figures out that you aren't in such a good place financially and takes pity on you. So they start anonymously sending you cash, clothes, and furniture in the mail. Eventually, the mob boss sends you a letter to stating that they bought you a house and it lists an address. What do you do? In this economy, thank them politely, pledge your loyalty, and join the mob. Cute things to call your girlfriend. Sugar, honey, flour, egg, salt, one tablespoon of butter, stir thoroughly, pour into a baking pan, uh, we forgot to preheat the oven to 375. Why would we have to preheat her if she's already hot? You smooth Frenchman. <laughs> That's way better than the duck noises.